So, if you're like 90% of people and you're incredibly bored and need something to watch, but you're stuck in the overwhelming maze of content in which Netflix says that they offer, but nothing actually seems good enough to watch, I'm here today to try and fix that issue. So here are six of what I deem to be good watchable Netflix series. I am trying to reach the big 1000 by the end of this year, but it really would mean the world if you guys could subscribe. Anyways, let's get on with today's video. The Story of a Chemistry Teacher Gone Rogue The series features the iconic duo of Walter White and Jesse Pinkman, I'm assuming you've seen the memes. They go into business after Walt finds out that he has cancer and needs to provide for his family once he's gone. The series follows a variety of different characters, some good, some very bad, and some that try to do the best in the circumstances in which they're given. If drug dealing, making loads of cash, gang wars, crime investigations are your cup of tea, then this series may possibly be for you. I would personally say this series was a fantastic watch for myself, but you do need to give it a couple of episodes to really get into the good bits. Piggy Blinders Another gang-related series follows the backstreet English Birmingham gang known as the Peaky Blinders. The Peaky Blinders is led by the main character who is Thomas Shelby. The series follows the rise from poverty to the elite, committing crimes, murders and creating successful enterprises to rise to the top. But upon reaching the top, the top seems to be no different from the bottom. The same amount of criminal corruption occurs in order to push for progression. I'm a little bit sad when it comes to Peaky Blinders. I think I've watched it about 14 times. Yes, that is no exaggeration. I really enjoy this series and I would definitely recommend it as a watch. Orange is the New Black Switching it up a little bit, Orange is the New Black is a series that follows the life of a group of prison inmates in a female penitentiary. The main character being Piper Chapman and a journey through the prison system and a relationship with the other characters inside the prison. A story showing both the good and bad aspects of the prison life, with a hint of comedy and some less than a uh, Christian behaviour, if you get what I'm talking about. Tiger King Tiger King is a documentary series about the life of tiger owners in the US of A. It highlights the criminal activities, corruption, lies and controversy of the tiger owning business. A main feature of this documentary is also investigating murders and attempted murders which occurred inside of the tiger business world. This documentary was one of the most watched documentaries on Netflix for some time and in my opinion is definitely worth checking out. The Office, a comedy-based series about the life in a Dunder Mifflin paper office. This series follows the life of Michael Scott, a manager inside of the paper office, and all the shenanigans that occur inside the workplace. A mix of comedy, relationships, pranks, and much more, this series is widely, highly rated as a comedy masterpiece. It genuinely did make me laugh at multiple points, and I would recommend that it's worth checking out. The Witcher a series based in the Middle Ages, following witchcraft, monster hunting, and the story of a witcher. The witchers are a group of monster hunters created by witches to slay monsters for money. The main character being Geralt of Rivia, who is one of the last remaining witchers inside of the story. Garrett spends his time slaying monsters for coin, battling rivals, and exploring his true destiny. The series relates hand in hand with one of the iconic game-winning storylines of The Witcher. A truly unique masterpiece. <laughs> 